Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It's episode 101, and we're continuing our playthrough of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2, The Sith Lords, where we've landed on Korriban to explore and figure out what's going on. And somebody mentioned something about tombs and relics and... Uh... Oh. I wonder if this is... The broken corpses before you are all that remain of the Sith on Korriban. Oh. I mm. doubt there is much to be gained from looting these bodies. It would be best I to mean, them be. Okay. I gotta tell you. Personally, I am for looting all the things. On the other hand, when the game goes out of its way to say, eh, but don't loot that. That's when I usually step back and go, okay, game, I won't loot that. Oh, uh, wow. All right. This place looks a little more wrecked than when I was here in the first Knights of the Old Republic game. This way leads to the tomb of Ajunta Paul, a junta. fierce Sith hmm. Lord. According to legend, the blade proved more fearsome than the master, leading to his Where demise. is the blade? Tell me more. Ajunta's dark specter lived on through the centuries until Revan entered the Sith Lord's tomb in search of the blade. Revan calmed the angry ghost of Ajanta Paul and showed him the path back to the light. You sound like you disapprove. One who has fallen so far <laughs> and done so much evil does not deserve redemption. In a way, oh. such a turning from one's nature oh. is cowardly, a betrayal of the self. That's a little harsh, isn't it? I don't see that as an option. Uh, no one's beneath redemption. Perhaps, but redemption is a form of spiritual collapse. A Seriously, you... few recover from. Hmm. So what became of the blade? Unknown. Some have suggested that the blade led to Revan's demise, as it did Ajanta Paul. That is Where is the blade? However, where Revan wanders now is knowledge that only Revan holds. Of course. All right, light side points gained, and we gained some influence, Korea. Good. That's been a hard one to manage. And I noticed that all the tombs are blocked off. That's kind of sad. I was hoping to go raiding. I mean, finding another, uh, finding more. Uh, sorry. Uh, excavating more archaeological relics. We're not looting tombs. We're, 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 uh, Reenacting her uh Indiana Jones. Yeah, that's it. the tomb of Tulak Horde, known as the greatest <laughs> lightsaber duelist of the Sith Lords. Is the greatest lightsaber's lightsaber available? Perchance. <laughs> Enough with the history. Be silent. No. Tell me more. His skill was considered remarkable. I have a funny feeling this information might be useful later. When many true lightsaber masters lived. Uh are you saying modern Jedi are poorly skilled with the lightsaber? If you were to face an ancient Sith Lord in combat, you would learn that we are as children playing with toys compared to the prowess of the old master. Oh. Um, okay, so here's the thing that, that, that kind of gets me, too. So, we're in the Old Republic. We're, what, uh, several thousand years prior to uh, the, the, the main trilogy? The good trilogy. Um, if we are but children playing with toys compared to the masters previous, and it doesn't look like you know, flashy lightsaber combat continued too much further on. Um, how? I mean, what were these guys doing? That they're making us look like children and when we make them look like children. Yeah, I, I believe you're right. It, it is 4,000 years in the past. Uh, that, seems, that seems about the right number. Uh, rumor was they were going to try to do a movie or a TV series based in this. And if they let Dave Filoni do it, I'm all for it. 
because he's done amazing things with the Mandalorian. If they let certain other personnel manage it, um, I'm going to be sad. A and there'll be a disturbance in the fandom, as if a thousand voices cried out. <laughs> okay, all right, let, let, let's get back to the game. What made him so good? <laughs> that is unknown. But supposedly, he created a holocron to teach his technique to other Sith. Oh, really? The holocron would have been laid to rest in his tomb. Unfortunately, oh. Tulak Horde's tomb was among the first penetrated by okay. the grave robbers of the new Sith Order. I was really hoping for, you know, a holocron that helped me with my I lightsaber skills. Would know its location. You know, I, I love how you keep telling me about all these fun things that I could have that would really help, you know. Oh yeah, there's this wonderful thing that would really help you, but you can't have it. Yeah. Uh, Favreau has done some amazing things for Marvel, and he's doing some amazing things for Lucas, LucasArts. Uh, and Filoni ha has definitely uh, returned a little bit of hope to the fans of a, a wonderful franchise. Uh, my hat is off to them, because they are doing wonderful things. Ahead lies the tomb of Naga Sadar, successor hmm. to Marka Ragnos, and the Sith Lord, responsible for nearly conquering the Republic. Was, uh, in Marka the Ragnos into Rock? War, Did that make it Ragnos Rock? Oh, wait, no. <laughs> Alright, tell me more. Recently, this tomb was where Revan confronted Uthar Vin, the leader of the Sith Academy. Yeah, he does. When Revan left Korriban, the Sith Academy was thrown into turmoil. I mean, you figure he took a, a what was ostensibly a B character in Iron Man and made it the cornerstone of the movie Empire. Resulting in the carnage you can see covering the surface of this valley. Oh, so it's his fault that we have all this carnage. I mean, look, this place was looking a little ruined when we got here the first time in the first nights of the Old Republic. And it's looking a little rougher now. So, uh... <laughs> Is there any way that this could fall further? Like, I mean, how much worse can it get? Before you is the tomb of the great Sith Lord, Marka Ragnos, a half-breed who possessed tremendous strength, a half -breed both of what? physically and in the Force. I mean, were the Sith... Were the Sith an actual race at that point in time, or or is it just, or is it still a, a title and a, a belief system? I'm trying to remember. All right. Yeah, exactly. He does know how to pay homage to the source material, and even when there's a diff a bunch of different storylines, because Iron Man had been rebooted a few different times, he knows how to how to pick how to pick and choose from what's available in a way that meshes together well. Ragnos held power for over a century, using his cunning to turn his enemies against each other. His death left a great vacuum of power. Well, that sucks. We're standing close to the spot where Naga Sadao first confronted Ludo Kresh to vie for domination of the Sith. Their struggle nearly resulted in a civil war that would have torn the Sith apart before they ever threatened the Republic. Hmm. <laughs> Sounds like civil wars are common amongst the Sith. Yes, <laughs> it is the way of the Sith. They must continually test their strength against each other, even if it means destroying themselves. That seems slightly counterproductive. So what happened between Sado and Kurish? As fate would have it, a pair of hyperspace explorers from Sinagar landed uh, on Korriban. <laughs> We're fighting each other. Oh wait, there's somebody outside to fight. Let's do that first. This fear resonated with many Sith who were discontent with the lack of expansion of the Sith Empire during the reign of Marka Ragnos. Thus, Nagasada became Ragnos's successor. <laughs> Uh, we don't like the expansion, so uh, we're, we're going to go find somebody who can expand it for us. Yeah, I'm going to skip out on the corpses. Again, she warned us about it. I don't see anything else in here. I mean, other than the creepy looking stuff. Hey, those guys look familiar. We really do need to do something about that. 
Yeah, definitely after Korriban. We'll, we'll go hunting down the factory, cranking out those guys. Alright. Unnecessary, Unnecessary observation. observation. You are eliminating many of yes, the we Jedi, are. But such actions only delay the inevitable, annoying huh. recitation. Let oh, no. no nothing wrong with that. Communications. Recitation. And bring about the termination of hostilities. Trust me, with, with uh, the mod Arcadius, uh, he is a big fan of the Mandalorian. It is on my list of uh, things to binge a little bit more of. Alright, let's do that, let's do that. Let's do that, and then we'll get a shield up, and then we'll go from there. Bam. I should probably get a heal in there, too. Oh. Oh, no, 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 no. I need to get a heal in quicker. Somebody's, uh... <laughs> somebody's not... Oh, no, no, no. I, I, I've, I've seen the end. I know how, I know how it ends. I, I picked up towards the end of it with Arcadius. Let's get another, uh... Heal in there. Oh, no. Never mind. He's... Bam! <laughs> it's not that I don't want to, I just... I haven't had time. Ooh! The Droid Warfare upgrade. Isn't that the one that, uh... That I put in, uh... Goto? Because if it is, I want to put it in T3. Power implant. That is nice. Fort and strength. Ooh, I could put that in, uh... Yeah. Oh, yes! Okay, good. Um... Now, that's a decision. Do I put the Warfare upgrade in T3 to give him a blaster rifle? Or into HK so he can dual-wield some pistols? I'll have to think about that. that that'll be a between, between live streams kind of thing where I go through equipment and, uh reassess who has what. In the meantime, everybody full health? Everybody's a full health. All right. Yeah, I, I've heard that a lot, and I do I do like the Western feel, but I also like Westerns, so. The mangled droids here are, well, quite mangled. Perhaps <laughs> it would be unwise to disturb whatever lies within these caves. There is great power and dark energy within this cave. Yeah. I would advise you to finish your explorations within the academy before venturing into the cave. And that is exactly what we're going to do because I know that when we finish with the cave, we're going to be finished with the planet. So we'll save that for the end. Um, oh, never mind. You're, you're going to come here. I was hoping you'd just stay there, but... Come on, got him down. There we go. Ooh, is there something to loot off of? Some fresh meat? I, I see the little clicky thing that says there's something to loot there. Guess not. Okay, we'll be coming back to that cave. That'll be the last thing we do on Korriban. Um, it definitely had a feel of the old serials. I, I don't know that I'd necessarily go so far as Western, but uh, it definitely, definitely intended to have the feel of the old, the old serials. Uh, what do I want? Valor or Battle Meditation? Let's go with uh, Battle Meditation. Weakness found. Little clicky thing? Hey, hey, hey. Yes, I know, I know, I know. Hush. It's not like there's an official term for it. Come on. Get there before... I thought these things were supposed to be vicious. 
I mean, I swear these things are about as vicious as Java. Java's our black lab. He's very vicious. If I didn't have the noise gate, you'd hear him snoring over the microphone. Was I was I talking to you? Wait, hey, 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 no, 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 no. You can expect more than these beasts within the academy. Be prepared. Oh, yeah. Let, let, let's, <laughs> did, did Goto just try to, like, back out on me? You're, you're supposed to be on my back. Okay. Now, that, that does bring up a very important thing. Um, when you enter the Sith Academy, once you enter in, the doors shut, and the party you have is the party you have. That's it. Nobody else is coming. No other help is available. And... I've got two skills people right now, so I think instead of having two skills people, I will remove Goto from the party and... I should pro... I, I need... I need range support. I'm thinking either Mandalore or HK. I kind of like HK for the sarcasm. Uh, I, I don't know that I'm going to build much of a rapport with him, but I, I haven't been building it all along. And unlike the first Knights of the Old Republic, one of the things that I do like that they changed is you can advance your conversation and storylines uh, in either direction. So to get to the next conversation tree, you either need to exceed influence or drop below influence, and you'll still open up those conversation options. And yes, HK is funny. I, I do. All right, let's add them. Because again, th this is one of those things where once we pass through these doors, the party you have is the party you have. Uh, the And uh, which reminds me. Where, where is it? What happened to his bowcaster? Dude, equip your bowcaster. That's the whole point of you being there. Okay. Um. Alright. Agility upgrade, reflex, and dex. Alright, so this is... An attack modifier to a defense bonus of one. This doesn't give me the defense bonus, but it gives all the proficiencies and weapons focus, proficiency, and specialization. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, which means instead of now I can actually give him a couple of blaster pistols. Uh, but I, I will de I will definitely do that a little bit later because uh, right now I need to get back to. Uh, Exploring. Alright. Oh. And certainly before we enter in the uh, Sith Academy, let's go ahead and do a save. And insert a quick cut. Well, that was fun. Unless I just died. Then it was a little less than fun. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you're having fun. And if you want to watch live, you can follow along on Twitch. I live stream the recording of the next six episodes at least once a week. I might even throw in some bonus content here and there if time allows. And you'll find the link in the description below. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. That way you'll get notified when new episodes go up live stream archives from some of my other stuff and various and sundry other videos because I do more than just this and if you want to get notifications don't forget to hit the bell and if you really truly enjoyed it don't forget to give it a thumbs up and all that good fun stuff if you have any questions queries quips quotes comments complaints or other whatnot don't forget to leave those in the comments down below lastly if you're enjoying the show, if you're getting some value out of it, then consider giving a lot of value back. Go to live.anonjunior.com 
It'll take you to the Streamlabs page where you can tip or donate, however you want to think about it. And there's no preset amount because this is a straight up value for value proposition. So if you're getting value out of the show and you would like to give a little value back, even if it's just enough for a cheap cup of coffee, then uh, consider going, giving a little bit, especially if it tickled the nostalgia or opened your eyes to a new game that you might play. And uh, with all that said and done, we're, uh, we're going to cut out, have fun, enjoy, and I'll see you next time.